Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to a safety meeting gameplay series. Today we are continuing Subnautica Underwater Survival. Now in our last episode we kind of hung around the base and built some things. We got the nuclear power plant and, well nuclear reactor I guess it's called, and the moon pool. And if you're with us the last episode you'll notice that the moon pool has been moved. So let me show you what I did real fast just to Welcome give you an idea. Captain. And tell you why I moved it. It was over here, attached. I think it attached down here and kind of popped off this way. It worked out real well for getting in and out, but it kind of sucked for the long walk back in through the base. So I moved it over here so it's got a instant shot right into the main part of the base. So that's the only reason I moved it was out of pure laziness. Pure laziness on my part. I actually like this a lot because of the light right here at night it helps out quite a bit so having it close to the ground actually benefits me a little bit I think now oh, the one thing that I realized I didn't put a hatch back on here that's where my hatch used to be so I guess the moon pool is our door now that's alright that's a pretty cool door to have alright so here's what I want to do today I have my inventory well I was gonna say cleared out but right now it's far from cleared out this is what I'm calling my exploration inventory. I have a extra power cell, a bunch of extra batteries, all of my regular equipment, some extra first aid kits, and a bunch of water. The only thing that I need to do is run out there and grab some fish. Well, actually, I guess I can just use these guys for now. Speaking of laziness. And cook up those guys and give myself some cured fish. That way... I don't have to eat them right away. So what I want to do is... Now I can't remember. I gotta put all my lockers into one room. I have too many lockers around this place right now. I think over here. Yes, the signals. Now I've never done anything with signals. So I think what I want to do... Yeah, this is the one that I want to try. Now if these work the way that I think, right now... Whoop, king of the wrong button. Right now, let's see, I think we should be able to see it around here somewhere. There, large organic mass at 914 meters. Now right now, the signal that I have is giant mushroom tree, which would be our large organic mass. So here's what I want to try out. Let's see if this theory works. I want to take the cave entrance. We also have a heat signature, two heat signatures that I haven't checked out yet. But I'm going to take the cave entrance Put it in our inventory. Take the giant mushroom one out. Okay, now, does that put the cave entrance? Okay, so, now, do we have a cave entrance somewhere? Somewhere out and about. Maybe? Ah, possible cave opening. Oh, it's close by too, 200 meters. So probably don't even need to take the sub. Honestly, I don't even know how far 200 meters is in this game, so let's find out. All right, well, it's not too far, but I don't know what's over there, so we're going to use the sea moth to protect ourselves a little bit, maybe. I think that would probably be the best thing to do. Oh, before we get all carried away here, let me... Uh, let me get you guys. Let's see, we'll take three of you. Alright, let me just cook these guys up real fast, and then we'll be good to go. Let's see, we want cured, not cooked. Oh, I can't. Oh, there we go. Oh, I need a salt deposit, that's right. Oh, well, I know where to get plenty of salt. Let's go upstairs, where we've got our groovy little water machine over here that is busily filtrating water. Alright, so... There's a couple of pieces of salt. I'm assuming we need one per fish, so we'll grab three. And I still can't believe how loud these things are. It's like that one's almost done charging. You yep, come on. 
There we go. Got the worst problem walking through this place. Okay, we're almost ready. I promise. Cured food. Here we go. Put a little bit of salt in our food. It's good and healthy for us. All right. Okay. I think we are... Well, let's top off real fast while we have the opportunity. I know I'm all about cliffhangers. Keep on saying we're going to go and then I find something else to do. I always do that with my son. Drives me nuts. Just get ready to go and then I find something else that I need to do. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. Man, I love this moon pool. Have I mentioned how much I love that moon pool? Alright, we are starting to look like a base now. I love it. So let's see what's in this possible cave opening. This is going to be really my first time exploring, not for fragments. We can actually explore. Whoa. Well, here's the opening right here. <laughs> that was like a 20 second ride. Okay, so I think my existing inventory is safe. So let's see what's in this. And I also brought that little gun with me to the uh, stasis cannon, I think it is. Can we fit through this? I don't know. We're going to try. Well, I'm glad I brought the sub. Ooh, what do we got going on here? Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? Man, this game is so cool. Caution. Passing safe depth. All right, so I guess the sub is just going to be like a little life pod here. I don't see anything immediately wanting to kill us. All right, so sub has to hang out right here. One thing that I did do was I grabbed my spare air tank. So now we got 135. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that's seconds or not. I think it depends on how deep you are. But we got a little bit more oxygen now. You know, the other thing that I need to do is maybe... I think it's an oxygen rebreather. When you're at really deep depths, it recirculates oxygen or something, I think. All right, I have no idea what to expect in here. I'm just going to go check some stuff out. Hopefully this is some ore that we've never seen before. Looks like a lot of brain coral. That's really cool. That's gold. <laughs> gold looks crazy down here. Oh, I'm saying we can scan it, so we might as well. I really got to pay attention to my oxygen. And one thing that I want to do, and I'm going to do this soon, I want to start up a... Uh, ooh, what's this? Lithium. I want to start a hardcore series. I want to see how long I can last in hardcore Caution. mode. 30 seconds of oxygen I know remaining. I'm heading back, I swear. So yeah, I'd like to start a hardcore series and just see how long... Wow, that was close. See how long that I can go for. Ooh, I hear creepy music. Okay, so we got lithium and gold so far. This place is so cool. Man, I wonder how big this cave is. So what the heck are these things anyway? Oh, I guess let's scan it and find out. Jelly shroom. Okay, definitely get this guy back out. Ooh, what are you? I picked up a jelly shroom spore. Okay, where's my sub? Caution. Uh oh. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh no! I might have screwed up. And I didn't bring my little scooter. I should have brought my scooter. Oh come on! We gotta get back. Emergency. We gotta get back. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. I think we're. Oh, are we gonna make it? 
Oh, man. Oh, I'm so glad I got that extra tank. That would have been dead ages ago. What are you? Maybe we do have stuff that wants to hurt us. Let's go see what that is. Okay, do you want to hurt me? No, saying. Oh, it's one of those, uh, an eye eye. I hear those things aren't good to have. Like they're, uh, lots of good food and stuff. Is that another one? <laughs> he's luring me deep down. What are you? I think he's just a. Oh, an Oculus. Okay, I really gotta pay attention to where the heck I'm at here. I don't see my sub. Oh, phew. I wish the sub could go a little bit deeper. I think it'll crush at 200. Warning. Maximum yep. depth reached. Hull damage yep. imminent. Okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to go for it. Oh, you know what? That's probably when the uh, dive reel would come in really handy. Okay, I'm just gonna swim this way and see what happens. I gotta really pay attention to the direction. Magnetite. Ooh, unlock the compass. Okay, what do we got around? Wow, there's so much stuff in here. We need to really get set up for uh, some depth, some deep exploration. I wonder how we go about doing that. We need to get back, well, not get back. Eventually, we'll go back to the base and figure out exactly what we want to do for being able to explore deep down. I'm sure there's like some suits and stuff that we can. Warning. Uh -oh. Yeah, I don't want to go that way. Okay, I gotta make sure that we can get back out of here as well. So, I really shouldn't explore too much in the sub. I think that's how we get out of here. Looks like a bowling ball. So I'd like to go over here, but the sub isn't gonna make it. Yeah, you gotta go under 200 feet for too long. That stinks. Wow, this is so cool. Well, doesn't seem like there's a whole lot down here right now, but again, I can't go very far. So let's go get some more oxygen. I'm gonna poke around in some of these other jellies. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. I don't think I'm really equipped to explore in here just yet. So those jelly shroom spores pretty much filled me up. Um, so since we're so close to the base, I'm gonna shoot over there real fast and empty out. Can we make it through? Is this the way back? I hope. Okay. Phew. I am going to go back real fast and just drop all this stuff off. What? Who's yelling at me? Who's yelling? Oh, you are! Hi. Alright, where is my base? I think it's right over here. Yeah, there we go. And I suppose since I have the opportunity, we might as well use this. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, I love it. Okay, let me go drop the stuff off real fast if I can find the uh, entrance. There we go. And uh, we'll go back and get right back into some exploring. I'm just going to drop it off in here. Alright, we'll find a place for all this stuff. I guess since we used that signal, let's go exchange signals real fast. I'll put you back. No, I got two heat signatures. So I guess it doesn't matter. I guess let's take this one. Let's find out what that is. 
Well, the other thing that I gotta find too are these sea moth upgrades. I wonder if the upgrades make your uh, welcome aboard, Captain. Make your depth a little bit deeper. I thought I switched. Oh, hold on. Thank I screwed up. Okay, cave entrance. Heat signature. There we go. Where are you at? Okay, where is our heat signature? Come here, heat. Where are you at? Hmm. I'm blind. Oh, there it is. Okay, that looks like it's kind of in an awkward spot. What, is the heat signature inside the cave we were just at? I think it is. Well, if that's the case, I saw the heat signature when I was down there. Hmm. Pardon me, piranha. Yeah, this is the heat signature. I wonder if, uh... Let's see how close we can get. Okay, not a good time to lag. Oh, you know what? I gotta make sure I don't go too far. Alright. Yeah, because we're gonna lose that cave opening really, really easy. Okay, that thing's only 200 meters away. Or 260. I'm gonna try it. Where am I at? We're a little bit closer. So is this thing just gonna show me like a thermal vent? Oh, what are you? That's probably not good. All right, we might die. That's one reason why I wanna do a hardcore episode. Ooh, is that a base? I think that's some kind of a base, no way. Okay, so I guess, hmm. Yeah, I think that's what that is. All right, this is what we need to do. We're formulating a plan here. First, we have to not die and get back to the sub. Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, so we got that big floaty guy that looks like he's certainly gonna try to kill us. Ooh. Now I'm seeing stuff out of the corner of my eye that's not there. Well, okay, that's the heat signature. First, let's see if we can get out of here. I know I didn't go too far, but that doesn't mean anything with me. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to crush the sub all up and down these walls here. Um, and we're going to go back to the, to the uh, base. And let's make some more air tanks. I think there's a way to make... I think you have light tanks and you have heavy duty tanks. Like, high capacity or... Yeah, high capacity that are... Like, kind of... Whoa, I think that was some of the poo or something you might be able to... You can collect that stuff for something, though. Um, now, what the heck is it that I'm trying to say? High capacity tanks, you can stay under longer, but you're going to be slower. You got lighter tanks that you're going to be a lot faster, but you can't stay under as long. I think I said that right. Let's go see what our options are here real fast. I keep going the wrong way. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what we can do. We'll bring a bunch of batteries. We're going to leave the power cell. We're going to leave you. That's probably a mistake, but we're going to. Okay, I'm getting this figured out here. And then we want you. This is killing our inventory, but if that's a base, I just want to see if there's something we can scan in there. I doubt there's going to be a lot for resources, so I don't think inventory is going to be an issue. So let's go see what we can do real fast for... Okay, upgrade station for this. Okay, two pieces of titanium to upgrade our tank. Oh, 
Oh, that's right. Am I out of titanium? Arr. Okay, let me go grab a piece of uh, shipwreck here for some titanium, and I'll be right back. I know we got some real close by. Oh, I gotta make the titanium first. Uh -huh. Okay, high capacity. Let's see what that does. I probably should have looked at the other. Plast steel. Okay, that's the extra light one. Okay, so I did make the right one. Luckily. Okay, so that just jumped us up to 165. Alright, that's cool. Alright, let's do this as well. We need the flashlight. I don't need a habitat builder. Scanner we need. Welder we shouldn't need. I hope we don't need a welder. Laser cutter will bring in case we find a door. Okay, let's go see if this thing... After I eat... Is... Yeah, I know, I love to do that to you. Okay. This is why I love this tree. Boom, 100% all around. Okay, now let's go see if this thing is a base. Okay. Well, at least we know where that cave entrance is now. It's real close by. Hello, fat man. I'm almost wondering if I should have made a beacon just to put by the entrance down below. But I think as long as I'm careful. <laughs> yeah, right. As long as I'm careful, we'll be okay. I have the feeling we're going to die. I just don't want to lose the sub or the entrance. Okay, so we need to go that way. Caution. Passing safe depth. Okay, we're going to get as close as we can with the sub. Without crushing it. I wonder what that big worm looking thing was. Okay, is this gonna let me go? We just gotta skim the top here. See, they did this on purpose. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage All right. imminent. Here we go. Wish me luck, guys. Oh, man. There's the thing that wants to kill us. I wonder... Oh, see, we could get the sub to kind of nestle right up into there, maybe. Should probably be looking below. Okay, we might end up dying here, but that's... That's perfectly okay. Okay, that is a base. Okay, where's that thing that looks like it's gonna kill me? I don't see it. We still got plenty of oxygen. I hope there's oxygen in here. Oh, man, are you kidding me? Oh, come on. Go, 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 go. Yeah, we're gonna die. I'm not gonna be able to make it back. Ooh, what's going on in here? Okay, is there anything to scan before I die? <laughs> A drooping stinger. Okay, I don't wanna... Okay, that's what's killing me. There's got to be some stuff in here to scan. What are you? Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, we're so dead. Oh, the bed! Just scan it before I die. Scan Emergency. it before I die. 10 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, come on! Okay, we died for a bed. I hope this is a comfortable bed. <laughs> Oh, that's sad. Ooh, there's new sounds Welcome for dying. <laughs> oh man, now we gotta go back and get the Seamoth. Hmm, alright, did that allow us... Did we at least die for the bed? Tell me it's so. Where's our blueprints? Ah, oh, we have a bed. 
Bed number one. Well, let's place it. So we need three pieces of tit Whoa. So we need three pieces of titanium. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? I was expecting to die by the big wormy thing, not uh, drowning. What do we have inventory-wise? Okay, so since we didn't even gather anything, we didn't lose anything, so that works out. Alright, what am I doing here? What the heck am I doing? Oh, a bed. Hmm. I guess we'll put the bed over here. This kind of seems to be the multi-purpose room here. Oh, I need titanium. Dang it. I'll be right back. Okay, that gives us what we need for a bed anyway. I see some solar panels, so we must be right over here. See now, in hardcore mode, we would have really had to have worked for that bed. So that's one of the reasons why I want to do that, because your priorities definitely change when you do hardcore. Okay, let's get some titanium moving here. Okay, let's see what a bed does. I'm excited. Oh, I put my habitat scanner thingy away, didn't I? Where are you at? There you be. Okay, bed. Alright, apparently my bed is an appliance. Well, I guess I'm finally going to answer the question of does this scan us to the daytime? My OCD will make it so I have to make sure that's straight. Yeah, that looks good. Awesome. All right, let's see what it does. <laughs> oh, we got a good view. Okay, is it going to turn us to daytime or no? Aw. Purely decorational, huh? Well, it's very comfortable. I'm glad I died for my bed. Alright, well, I'd say... Oh, back's creaking, getting up. Alright. I'd say that's a good spot to wrap this up. I'm gonna have to go back and retrieve my sea moth somewhere. Somewhere down there. So I'll probably do that and just get it back and, and park before our next episode. Ah, who knows? Maybe we'll make that into an episode, trying to get that back. It might be interesting. So, well, at least we found the bed. That's pretty awesome. I've definitely been wanting to find one of those, mostly just to answer the question of whether or not it scans us past the, the nighttime. I was really hoping it was, because sometimes it gets a little tedious if you're just doing certain things and, and you're just waiting for nighttime to pass. But that's all right. This game is too cool, so I can't complain. So, all right, we're going to leave it off right there. As always, I appreciate everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave me a like. I do appreciate those as well. And I will see you guys soon for another episode of Subnautica.